Welcome back to Spider-Man 2002. And guess what? We're going to defeat three iconic Spider-Man villains in just one part. Three at the price of one, I guess. So. Yes. Well, considering uh, Sh Shocker and Vulture are always together, um, it's always two villains for the price of one of those two anyway, so... Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Unless, of course, we were in of those continuities, like in the animated series for the 90s, where the Vulture might be arrested, but the Shocker isn't, and Shocker goes solo. There might be some possibilities like that, but most of the time, they're usually together. Oh, crap. Oh, no. It's... It's... Okay, so this level is, like I said, sure. avoid, avoid, avoid Shocker's blasts. So the way this works is, every time he's about to use a shock against you, the, your spider sense starts tingling, aka um, those rays come out of Spidey's head and your controller also vibrates when it happens. So um, every time that happens, you need to get the fuck out of the way and get behind the wall. Otherwise, you're going to be hit. Quick um, spider by get the anti-gravity gun. So the goal is to try your best to somehow you know, get through the the subway and get to... There you go. The, the best way to do it is to use the, this particular feature where you can just lock on... There you go. See? This is the best way to get around it. Okay. So try your best to not get hit. It's it, He always takes quite a break in between shocks anyway, so you should be fine. I'm guessing he also, as soon as he spots you, he tries to do very good, like now. Yeah, eventually when you get close to him, he'll just run away. Well, I pull see. Well, he is soccer. Yeah. Bro. I love how that makes no sound, though. That's because um, one one of the effects of hearing the, the shocker's blast is that the sound goes a bit deaf for a second to simulate, you know, ultrasound. Yeah. yeah. I guess. A lot of games do this, Dibs, more often than you think. Mm-hmm. Besides, so, this um, is like an old school video game, Dibs. It Probably would have bound to sure, have the glitches or something. Did you make sure you got the anti-gravity gun this time? The Wait, the anti-gravity gun? Homecoming joke. Oh, right. I thought you were referencing the ride. Because that's exactly I'm what the Spider-Man Spider like, ride at Universal you know, Studios. The thing where, an anti-gravity gun created by Dr. Octopus. The scene where the Vulture tried to... Job, uh. The scene where the vulture tried to use the anti-gravity gun, but we accidentally got out a disintegrator that killed um, killed the shocker. It's quite. It can be quite hard to get past the halfway point because uh, the the um, the space in between one uh, safe spot and the other is quite large, so it can be really hard. So you're gonna have to time it really well. As you can see, I actually got hit twice so far. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm All right. Let's see. Shocker, where are you? To the left or to the right? Oh, there we go. Ooh. Crap. Well, he automatically, as soon as you jump out in one of the rails, uh, yeah, he automatically aligns with yours and fires. There you go, like that. Hey, Shocker. Yeah, yeah. Bye, Shocker. And run I'll... away, run away. Ooh. And, of course, he brings down all that rubble so we can follow him. Thanks, Horn. Um, I can't follow. Okay, it's okay though. What to do? All we have to do is pull this lever. If you don't mind. Pull the lever, Spider-Man. And that Wrong will. Clever. And that will make. Oh, actually, I have to pull this lever as well. And yeah, there you with go. His invisible hands. Now this train will just move out of the way. Okay. All right. Now let's chase the shocker. Oh, in another sewer, like in a sewer level. Fantastic. Of course. Your favorite, Tio. <sighs> I'm sure that uh, that st those stains and stench will come out of the costume eventually. Don't worry, Tio. This is the last. Uh, all we have to do is defeat Shocker now and we'll get out of the sewers. Mm hmm. Which is weird. Directly what connected to the are? subway. I'm actually, inter I'm actually surprised that it's not the uh, lizard. Go to, in five, the sewer. go to five minutes. Yeah, that's what I raised in the previous part. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Come on. And Shocker's school of hard knocks is now open. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 What a story, Peter. Alright, so... Alright, I'm at five minutes. Alright, wait 15 seconds. Okay, so the boss battle against Shocker is basically what you'd expect. He keeps trying to shock you, so try your best to avoid it and hit him when you can, basically. Alright, Jova, and... Three, three, two, one, click. 
there you go All anyway right. yeah like i said just try your best to do yeah just try your best to dodge that and whenever you have a chance yeah i'm about to use my web fists but first i have to find a way to get back the problem is of course that because of his shocks he keeps constantly jumping in between the ground and the platforms so it can be quite it can be a bit hard to keep up with him so make sure that you make good use of the, the camera lock on like i'm using now there you go fortunately i protected myself there you go all right come on shocker it's you and me yeah oh crap Also, exciting music. Isn't this music uh, from the movie, or is it... No. no. Okay. I don't, I don't think so, anyway. I, I mean, to be, honest, be... to be honest, yeah. aside from the main theme and uh, maybe one or two other tracks, I don't particularly remember Danny Elfman's score in the, t in the two Spider-Man movies he did all that much. Me neither. Hell, I, think, I think, hell, to be honest, there's a track in Spider-Man 3 I remember more than any of almost all of the tracks in one and two is the scene is the track where where sandman first comes out of the sand yeah there's a there, aside from maybe like um aside from maybe like uh mr peabody and sherman or maybe a, a couple of tracks from meet the robinsons i usually don't remember any danny elfman tracks that are not from tim burton films that when he was working with tim burton tim burton knows how to bring the best in him uh because this mm -hmm. Especially uh, is at the Edward Scissorhands score. It's still one of my best, one of my favorite film scores ever. Anyway, cutscene. Mm -hmm. I actually do remember his Spider-Man scores well enough, although I can't recall it, the one when we fought Shocker was in it. Because of course he has. Well, Shocker, thanks for telling me where the Vulture is. It's a good thing you're well, not loyal. Well, it's like he said, if, if he's not getting his, why should Vulture get it? Yeah, true. No honor among thieves, I guess. Well, to be fair, Vulture kind of did just leave him to dry. Shut down with Shocker. So down with Shocker. All right, then. Okay. Now time yeah, to take care welcome. of... So now that we Shocker is arrested, now we need to take care of the Vulture. So by the time by the time this part comes out, the sequel to um, Spider-Man: Homecoming will be almost on its way. So this will be perfect timing. Probably won't. Wait, hold on. When is the sequel coming out? Twenty nineteen. I least. think we'll have this out way before then. Or maybe they'll have announced like and I, 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 I can't remember if the shocker did the shocker survive Spider-Man: yes. Homecoming. Yes. Yes, it did. The yes, new it did. one, okay, okay, okay. So. The, the second shocker. Yeah. yeah, it, well, yeah it well, does. well, considering the shocker in the comics uses a mask, it's very easy for the writers to just have a ma suit up, and there you go. It's Remember, shocker. The, the stinger, My guess is that they're the, probably the, waiting until later movie to give him the. Yeah, the stinger is anyway. implied. They're forming the Sinister Six anyway, so yeah. yeah. And, and and the scorp scorpion at least. Here's just hoping that they don't rush you in with their villains too much. Well, we know that we're making a standalone Venom movie, so... Which is for the amazing uh, th Spider-Man that, universe. That, that's, no, that's but Sony, didn't, they come, they didn't they come back from that in state and now he's instead in the MCU? Uh, nope. No. Apparently, no. apparently last, last time I, last I checked, um, last I checked, it's in the Homecoming continuity, it's just they're not going to be really interacting with MCU characters all that much. Wait, it, no, wait, hold on. I never heard them, you know, change it to the I'm gonna check. Anyway, to bring this back to the game, though, um, as you saw there, yes, that's the actual design of the Vulture from the comics. Um, mm -hmm. it, um, obviously, for the sake of live action, Homecoming made it a bit more science-y for the sake of not looking as goofy as it does Just there. Just like what we did, for example, with Falcon, a yeah. similar type of character. What works in a comic book will not necessarily work in live action. Anyway, yeah, at least, at, uh, I mean, at least for this case, because this is way too goofy to even even have a barely any attempt to work. Mm -hmm. All right. Basically, just try your best to dodge the fire and keep chasing the vulture. Come on, birdie, birdie, you can do it. birdie, birdie. Come on. Birdie, birdie. Got some bird seed for you. Is Black Cat in this game? No. No. She's in, in, she's in the sequel. Uh, okay. I wonder what Shiro is bringing that. Uh, uh, hey, Shiro, have you seen Black Cat before? 
I no, she's not. So. She's only familiar with the free Remy movies uh, and Homecoming. So uh, only amazing movies because she commented on it with us. But she's only familiar oh, with the she movies. Was in, like, huh? She was in Amazing Spider-Man Two for like ten seconds. Yeah, <laughs> as Harry Osborn's <laughs> secretary and nothing more. You had freaking Felicia Hardesty as a secretary and nothing more, which is weird because in the video games of Amazing Spider-Man, she is Black Cat. Yeah. So right. I guess I, I guess I guess none of the writers of the Spider Man Amazing Spider Man films played those games. <sighs> you know, in terms you Actually, know, Amazing Black Cat is a classic Spider Man villain anyway, so I don't understand what the games are. More to do like it. supporting character. She is well, yeah, supporting character. Well, Fine, uh, anti hero if that helps. Well, Tio, remember they've made her more of a villain in well <sighs> thanks to Superior Spider Man and a misunderstanding. Because She's of course, so that, 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 that's how Marvel Comics actually ruled uh, in the early 2010s, so by misunderstanding. Marvel Comics ruins its own characters, and the other w news, water is wet. So anyway, it's, anyway yeah. we're almost done, if I remember correctly. God damn it, Vulture, why did you have to put yourself up in such a high tower? Because I'm the yeah. Vulture, you nipshit. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. God damn it. I mean, if I, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't be doing it if I was called the rat now, would I? I can't even properly web swing in here because it's way too tight. Oh, Why do you think I plan. came here then? So, okay, what time are you guys at? YouTube buffered on me again. Go to 12, 12 15. Your okay. connection is really shit today, isn't it? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not my connection because I'm hearing you guys just fine. It's strictly Where's YouTube at this character? moment. Sorry. Uh, no, well, sure. I'm well, not, well, not terribly, just poorly. Uh, Shuri? What, 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 what do you mean by that, Shuri? I think it's Shuri's connection here. Yeah. No, no, we can hear... hear... No, we can hear her fine, it's just... I think you were just I, talking I, I, about Joe's connection. No, no, no. Okay, it's, and, it's, and, and, and click. There you go. Oh, right. no, never mind, I, I get it now. Good one, Dwebs. At least one of us is paying. And this is coming from one who usually pays the least attention. Very yes, good, very good very, Dwebs. Very now go keep a consistent rate of it and you will be rewarded. Very good, Dwebs. I'll put an extra cookie in your ration today. Yay. Wait, ration? Yes. <laughs> now be sure to not leave the cage. <laughs> but, 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 but I don't want the hose, please. What? Anyway, so, moving on. I got, I got, I got, I got Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah, yeah. I've not seen Mrs. Doubtfire, sure. Anyway, there he goes. This is, uh, yeah, this is how the vulture time. looks like in the it's comics. Part of the film you're referring to. And as you can see, Dwebs, in the original um, incarnation, he's way older than in the Homecoming. You know, if, if Ben Kingsley hadn't already played um, the Mandarin, I'd have, got, I'd, have, I'd have thought he'd have been a good pick to be the Vulture. He would, but I think um, Michael Keaton did a great job anyway, so whatever. Yeah. But how much do you want to bet they got Michael Keaton specifically to play the Vulture because of his past career in superhero films? I wouldn't well, be surprised. Like, <laughs> it, was also, it was also Birdman. That sounds exactly like the kind of thing Marvel would do, so yeah. Don't let yeah. Vulture get... Yeah, this, this, this is... This is this is almost exactly like one of the missions in the the 2002 game. Mm-hmm. No, no, the 2000. Sorry. It's kind of like uh, it's like one of those things. Like uh, to give you an idea, Java, um, in the behind-the-scenes featurettes of Doctor Strange in the Blu-ray, um, they, they basically they start making the movie in the summer campaigns. They, from the mo from the very first moment, they've always planned for Doctor S for Benedict Cumberbatch to play the role because he was just too perfect for it. However, they've mm -hmm. made plans just in case he wouldn't be able to do it because of Sherlock. Um, he did. They were like, okay, let's try getting other actors just in case. And eventually, got to a point where, okay, we cannot possibly have this without Benedict. So let's just wait before we start shooting until he finishes shooting Sherlock before we can. So it's just well, one of thank those. Thank goodness he didn't say no. Well considering, uh, the, well, considering the popularity of the MCU, any actor will probably, uh, con at the very least, consider being in it. You'd be surprised. There have been well, some actors um, who have actually said no to roles because. Well, of considering considering how reason. bad Sherlock's gotten recently, is it, I'm, I'm glad he has the MCU up back on now. Oh, what happened to Sherlock? Oh, Sherlock has gotten that bad. Uh, Stephen Moffat syndrome. That's what happened. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. What a surprise. Anyway, basically... Hey, who the the Matomo, it's now become the Matomo Tori um, Babes, uh, do you know who's voicing the Vulture here? New game. Uh, because yeah. I, I heard that voice recently. Go ahead. Yeah. While Let me the, check behind the voice actors. While the lips checks, allow me to explain this. Basically, this is a chase level. Basically, you're supposed to chase the vulture and make sure you don't let him get too far because if the meter on the, on the top right corner goes all the way to the left, that means you'll lose the vulture and you'll have to start the level all over again. So try your best. So, and we'll do this later on with the with the Green Goblin as well. Basically, uh, it's a new type of level, the chase levels, where you're supposed to chase... Dwight Schultz. <laughs> oh, of course, he's... Um... One of the main characters in Chowder, that's why the voice sounds familiar. Yeah. Alright. The Vault sucks on you, Peter. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta be honest, the humor in this game isn't really... Courtesy of Toby McGuire's performance, probably. Really? Yeah, I yeah. think it's fine. So, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I mean, it might have been funny one or two times, but I don't think McGuire was ever good with the quips. <laughs> Also, well, watch out, Spidey, if you'll keep well, uh, your To be fair, hanging. that's more writing well, than his fair, fault, I mean, though. Well, to be fair, with, with the stuff he was... Remember, but he's just, he's just, he had to work with lines like, It's you who's out, Gobby. Out of your mind. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we'll save that for, for the commentaries. For now, let's just focus on the game itself. Unless Vulture is down, mm -hmm. avoid lingering on, on the building. You're an easy target. Also, Spidey, watch out since you're pointing your webs at the sky because one thunder may strike it, strike them or something. Oh yeah, uh, Mary Jane isn't voiced by her movie actress. In All this right, game. let me explain oh, because no, uh, so. this particular boss battle works differently than the previous ones. Uh, you notice that there's a blue bar and a red bar at the same time. Here's how it works. The vault, when a vulture is flying, hitting him will dry, drain the blue bar. And when you drain the blue bar all the way away, the vulture will get hurt, so he has to go and, and back to the ground to recover. And that's when you can actually damage the, the actual red bar. Vulture has landed. Get him. I already did. But now, unfortunately, he went back up. Only one more time. We Once more with purpose. So. And... Alright, let's do stuff for the purpose. Let's punch him with our web fists. There we go. And there we go. Vulture is down. Oh no! Now, Vulture, you can't go around taking things that don't belong to you. What kind of that rain graphics, though. Yeah. Wow, well, it's a product. Of <laughs> I don't style, think I um, villains care about what youngsters what think of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor guy. <laughs> <Come> <laughs> <on>. <laughs> That's police brutality. There we go, we defeated the vulture. No, that's just funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. So... Who's next? Cutscene. You'll see. Oh, oh shit. You gotta take two, a look at two traces of arachnid DNA? How can that be? Ben. I mean, I mean, we know one. Ben Riley. No, 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 no. The one, one is Spider-Man, but who is who is the other one? Is that meant to be Norman? Yes, that's Willem Dafoe playing him as well. But his face looks nothing like Willem Dafoe's. Oh, Scorpion. Yeah, what? there you go, Scorpion. You put me in this suit. Oh, and now yeah, I need some. And it's the one possessed by the symbionte. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Well, actually, in this particular iteration, um, Teo, Scorpion is just nuts. Well, this, this type of, uh, at least for the comics at this time, Scorpion had this particular suit when he was recovering from an accident, he was possessed by a symbiote. Yeah, that is true, uh, actually. He was actually possessed by Venom symbiote. And then yeah, which will not make sense Venom. in this continuity, so yeah. Don't worry, though, they're back Wait, to normal. Is that, them. is that Doc? I thought it was Doc Ock for a second. The, 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 no. uh, my, my guess is, Theo, they wanted to do fan service for the comic fans, but they didn't actually think of whether or not it, it made sense in the in the oh, story well, they were no, telling. No, 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 no. Protect uh, Scorpion, no, no. excuse me. Uh, don't, don't, worry, don't, don't worry, you'll figure out the one. Don't worry, Pedro Amigo. At the time of 2002, Scorpion was not the current Venom. Whatever, the point is, yeah. uh, Scorpion. Yeah, he's not the villain in this. Basically, she was, Scorpion in the comics is a villain that was created by J. Jonah Jameson as an attempt to try to hunt down Spider-Man. Because, you know, some, obviously, Scorpions are very strong against spiders. And, unfortunately, the side results of making him a superhero also made him complete ins completely insane. And that's in this what... version, he's more of a tragic figure in that 
he's kind of trapped in this suit with DNA. And his story arc gets kid you gets continued. I kid you not in Spider Man Three. Yeah. Well, the, well, the HD version. This particular this this particular game. I mean, you can tell the 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 Venom level was mostly here for for fan service because they didn't really go into the trouble of actually explaining Scorpion's origin or even give him a real purpose. It's just it's just here to fill out the game basically. The Venom that, level. No, the scorp the Scorpion stuff. Hang, hang, hang on, hang on a second. Uh... This score sounds like the one from Tomb Raider for some reason. The the, the first movie. Mm, same composer, maybe. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's a, that bit, bit there sounded like it. Anyway, yeah. Uh, basically, too, what happens is um, the hunt the hunter killers that are hunting Spider Man from Oscorp are of course also hunting uh, Scorpion because they can't tell each other apart because you know arachnid DNA. So mm-hmm. we have to put that Scorpion because, as far as we know so far, Scorpion is a good guy. He hasn't done anything. He hasn't really done anything wrong to anyone yet here. So technically, it's uh, it's legit, I guess. Hang, 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 hang on a second. Again, this this music's from the early the, the Disney era Power Rangers show. This is stock music. Yeah, it's probably li- um, royalty free. Probably pu- public that. probably public domain stuff. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I, I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. It's not bad. It's just that the uh, the music I find this the music in this can to be early or remarkable. I mean, really, the um, um, they could they couldn't even just put like a music on a synthesizer or something. They had to use public domain stuff. This is something yeah. a low budget publisher would do, not Activision. Depends, Dweebs. Depends. If it's, used, Dweebs. if it's used wisely and the right type of soundtrack, it can still function. Is here is just something bland. I mean, look or... at um, look, look at for example in Clockwork Orange. In Clockwork Orange, Kubrick uses already pre-made music from Beethoven for that movie, and it works brilliantly. Yeah, but that's, 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 that's done for a synthesizer. True, yeah. but yeah. it's still all uh... right. Azra's rap uses uh, the full orchestral original version of uh, Symphony of a New World. Anyway, moving on. Tough. So what's your story? Stung by a scorpion or something? Oh, Jesus. So yeah, he's a paranoid lunatic, as you can see. And again, considering he's been strapped into a suit that he can't remove and is being chased down by spider bots, uh, I guess that could uh, knock a few screws loose. So, so he just wants out? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Okay, that's, that's his motivation for what he uh, killed J. Jonah Jameson in PS1. Okay, game. now in an attempt to calm him down, now we're going to fight Scorpion. Save game? No, not yet. No. You're feeling Why brave. Not? Because I don't think you guys want to, me to waste your time with watching me save the game. You could just cut the saving bit out. Yeah, but I'm lazy, so no. Oh, so okay. like you're lazy, but not me. <laughs> but my laziness in this particular case makes the part shorter, so it's cool. You can't take me back. I wouldn't even know where to take you back to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, where do you even belong? <laughs> All right, so yeah, here's how Scorpion is. Scorpion, as you can tell, is very, very fast. So your best bet is to try to stay away and try to use your web as much as you can. Yeah, and even. Oh. I'm trying my best to try also to use the the the, the iron the web fist because those are the the most as you can see they're the most powerful attack in the game. I was able to take like a, quite a good amount of chunk of his health there. However, the actual rec- if you're not uh, experienced at this game, you're playing for the first time. I recommend definitely playing it safe and try attacking him from far away because he moves fast, so it's incredibly easy to get lose, lose track of him. So make sure you lock onto him right away. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm fitting battle music. Yeah. I mean, I mean, even the Power Rangers series when they when they moved production to New Zealand, at least try at least they tried to fit this music into a fitting situation. <laughs> <laughs> that was cheap. <laughs> you you defeated him while he was vulnerable. Hey, 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 hey! He attacked me first. <laughs> Besides, we're gonna get him help. Yeah, help. We're gonna do strap. Actually, actually, we don't. He runs away. <laughs> And we'll continue this subplot in Spider-Man Free, in the Spider-Man Free game, which will be recorded by Dwibs in the PS2. So, well, wait, couldn't hold for on, that. Hold on, hold on. Remember, 
Scorpion doesn't show up in the PS2 version. Oh, he doesn't? Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. I mean, whatever, then. In the PS2 version, there are different villains. Uh, Fine, the whatever. The point is, we'll continue this subplot of Scorpion in, in the Spider-Man 3 game. So, we eventually, we'll resolve this. So, yep. see you then. Yeah, see you. Yeah.